All right, so this video is going to show you another tip that I use to actually help me navigate and troubleshoot pro PLC programs, um, and that's using Studio 5000 or, or even RS Logic 5000, right? So this is going to be using the uh, bookmark tool. So what you want to do is you come up here to your view, and you want to go to your toolbar, right? And then that's when you can change and actually see it. So if you don't see it up here, your bookmark tool, you can come over here and add your bookmark tool. And then you close this right here and now you have the ability to bookmark stuff. Now this tool right here can be moved wherever you would want to see it. Like if you wanted to line it up right here, this is that tool right here. Now, how does this actually work? And why would I use this? So let's just look at the, this is the Instant Fizz program that comes default with the, the software. So uh, when you come think of, or, or actually you can get this from the Rockwell website as well if you want to actually find it. Uh, so just sign into your account and just search for Instant Fizz. Uh, there'll be a download for it. So uh, when it comes down to it though, uh, when you think about how to actually utilize this, let's, let's think about how we want to, like let's just look at this star bit right here. If we wanted to come in here and troubleshoot this, if we were seeing why wasn't it working or why was it working or why was something happening we can go to cross-reference and we naturally want to look at our destructive bit right so everywhere it's being controlled we can look at right here right here and right here there's three times three different points in the program where it that bit is being controlled not that it's being used there's multiple points where it's being used right there's multiple points where we're utilizing that bit to say, well, okay, we want that bit to control something else. But if we were looking for this bit to actually where it's being controlled, we want to come over here and find it. So why does bookmarks even help? So if you're troubleshooting a program, you can come over here and you can say, okay, well, this is one point. We'll have a bookmark here. We'll go back to cross-reference. We'll put another point in here. And we can say, okay, well, this point right here is another point where that's being used. All right. And then we can come over here to say this point right here is another point where it's being used. So it's being utilized twice in this bit, or in this, this rung right here. So now we can just simply go up to our bookmarks and find all that, every everywhere that's being controlled, right? Now, if counter to that, if we wanted to clear everything, you know, we want to remove all bookmarks, we can remove all bookmarks and come back and say, well, where are we utilizing this bit, okay? So we can look right here and say, okay, well, it's being utilized here. All right, so it's being utilized here. We can put a bookmark there. We can come over here and go back to cross-reference and say right here. We can go ahead and add that here as well. And then come back up to our cross-reference and add another one. You can kind of see where I'm headed with this, right? So when it comes down to it, um, understanding where the things are controlled, um, how to use you know simple tools like bookmarking. And this way you can come over here and see all your bookmarks and just simply go to them if you're troubleshooting something to see exactly where things are. So that keeps your train of thought when you're trying to troubleshoot something really simple and like a streamlined path because all you're looking at at this point is your bookmark. So the things that, that you called out are important to you in this matter. So what I, what I mean by like in this matter is what basically saying, like if you were troubleshooting something and find, trying to find out, well, what is this bit control and how things are being utilized? Uh, or if I was trying to sit, sit here and say, well, why is this blocked? Or why, you know, why are, why am I coming in here saying, okay, well, where where is this, this being used? I can come over here and easily find them in my bits and cross-reference and keep my cross-reference open and go over here. But you see how kind of drawn out that is if I go over here and I come over here and just jump back and forth, I'm jumping from screen to screen and it's really kind of in the way. It's really kind of throwing my train of thought off, right? Because there's multiple spots and I have to remember that spot. However, if I have tags that I can just throw in a bookmark, I can simply just go over here, jump back and forth to my program and easily find out where those things are being utilized or being controlled or maybe even things that are important in my troubleshooting path that I currently have, right? Because obviously you're, you're in a program and you're trying to find out how things are being utilized and controlled. 
and and you're trying to troubleshoot why something may may be happening or may not be happening and that simple bookmark tool is a simple tool that can very be very very powerful to help you i know in my my you know in troubleshooting i've used it quite a bit um when it comes down to it and again you can delete which ones you have finished say for instance you say okay well you narrow it down to that that specific point you can delete all the stuff right here and just come right here and make sure you go right right back to it so again and again have that clear all bookmark uh section too so i think bookmarks are very very powerful in troubleshooting and i wanted to share that with you because again when it comes down to it the easier troubleshooting is when it comes to actually working on plc programming or even looking at a program that somebody wrote and trying to find out where things are the more tools you have the better you are so with all that said we'll see you guys on the next one